everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you guys another top 10 songs video. I don't know why I keep doing these videos because it is so challenging for me to pick top 10 songs by these bands because they just all have so many amazing songs and then I always get shit in the comments like, where's this song? And it's like, I know, <laughs> like... I would make a top 50 if I could, but that'll take way too long. So today I'm going to be talking about Green Day, um, one of my favorite bands of all time. I got into them back in like 2009, 2010. Um, I had a really big Green Day phase, so I have a ton of respect for them. They're definitely one of like the biggest influences of all the other bands that I listen to, so I can't wait to share with you guys my top 10 favorites. So let's just get started. Stray Heart. This is off of Dose out of Uno Dos and Trey and these three albums were released back in I think 2012 and they just kind of did like a little trilogy album release like all in one and it was just really awesome because it was just a ton of new songs but this is one of the ones that stuck out to me the most but this song is just like one of the most famous from those releases and you can definitely see why when you hear it. Um, it's super catchy, very fun song to listen to, and you could totally hear the influences of like older rock from like the 60s and 70s um, in this song, as well as the other songs from those releases. But this one is just a really, really fun song, so if you're not too much into like the punk rock, you know, harder Green Day, you might really enjoy this, as well as those other albums. So it's more of a pop rock, fun song that pretty much anyone can enjoy. And the same goes for most of the songs on that trilogy of albums, Uno, Dos, and Trey, so make sure you guys check it out. Number 9 is Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. This was off of 21st Century Breakdown back in 2009. And this is one of the most powerful Green Day songs in my opinion. This is one of the songs that would encourage a mosh pit at one of their shows. There's just so much craziness in it. It's one of the harder songs, you know, Billy has some stronger, more intimidating vocals in this song. Um, and he's kind of really screaming what he's saying, like, because he really cares about what he's talking about in this song. This song really, like, encourages people to, like, riot. And that's kind of exciting because it, like, wants to bring people together, get them angry, but for the right reason. It's just a song that I've always been drawn to and I keep coming back to and listening to because it's so powerful. Number 8 is Minority. This came out in 2000 off of their album Warning and this was like right before they started to kind of change their sound and the whole meaning behind it is really about being an individual like being your own person and like being a minority, you know, rather than just being the same as everyone else. And Billy really tends to write a lot of shit about, like, how bad America is, and I love it because it's so true. Like, everyone wants to be the same person here. Do your own thing, you know, wear your own kind of style of clothes, do whatever you want, like, be different, you know? That makes you unique, that makes you a person, that makes you who you are. And I just, I think that's really cool. It's very inspiring, honestly. And something I really like about the beginning of this song that I forgot to mention is that it starts off with like this slow guitar part, kind of like a folk song or something. And then it just slams into this harder rock song. And it's just really awesome. But this song is mainly about like rebelling from everyone else and what they're doing and just being different. And I really love that. Can I get another amen? There's a flag wrapped around a score of men. Now we're about to get really political. Okay, so number seven is Holiday. This is a really famous song of them. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know it. This is off of their most famous album, I'd say, um, American Idiot. And this song is honestly just a big middle finger to George Bush. I don't want to get too political, but if you read the lyrics, you'll kind of understand what he's saying. And mainly this song is just anti-war, and I agree with that completely. And this song is like very angry and punk rock, and people tend to overlook the lyrics in this song. If you really sit down and read it, there's a lot of meaning in there that's so important, and he's so right, because look at us now, honestly. And it really is showing sympathy for the soldiers that had to die without a name, you know, that's one of the lyrics, and just how when they came back from war, you know, they're so mistreated. That's still going on today, you guys. It's such an important issue, um, and that's why this song is so powerful. You really need to look it up. Um, and really, musically, too, it's such a killer song. Like, so many people have covered this. It's an incredible song musically, very punk rock. I love everything about it. And I'd feel so sorry if you guys did not hear this song yet. And if that's true, then go ahead and listen to it. Well, maybe I'm the get America. I'm not a part of a redneck agenda. Number 
number six is American Idiot. This is going along with the same theme, like with Holiday. Um, this whole album really is just kind of a fuck you to America. Not really America, but just like people who are running our country the wrong way. Uh, and it's just very important because some people were very angry when this song came out because they thought it was so anti-American and like very messed up. But if you actually pay attention to these lyrics, like a smart person would, you'd find that it's actually very patriotic in a way. Now American Idiot might be the most famous song by Green Day, I'm not sure because they have like 10 most famous songs, but this is one of those that pretty much everyone has heard. One of my favorite lines in this song is, I'm not a part of a redneck agenda. So true, like I just, you know, before when I listened to Green Day I didn't really pay attention to this stuff. But now as I'm older, like, a lot of these songs speak to me on a different level. But the main, like, theme of this song is that he doesn't want the people in our country to turn into idiots, which is what is happening. The main guitar part in this song is so famous, everybody knows it. You know, when I saw All Time Low, they covered this and they just played that beginning part. That's all they need to play, and everyone knows what song it is. And that's why I love this song. It's just, in every way, it's so iconic, honestly. Uh, and it definitely deserves its spot on this list. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm cracking up. And I'm just there. Number five is Basket Case. This is another huge Green Day song that pretty much everyone knows. Um, right when they start playing it, you know, everyone knows those beginning lyrics. It's just so famous. And this is really one of the biggest punk rock songs for them and of all time, in my opinion. And it inspired a ton of bands to go punk rock. They just, Green Day are just so good at that, you know, they really opened it up back in the 90s. This is off of Dookie, which is probably their second most famous album, if not their most famous, you know, it's pretty debatable. The main theme behind this song is, I believe, about mental health. He struggled with anxiety, so that's pretty much what he's writing about. He feels a little bit guilty for telling everyone about his problems because they don't really know how to fix it, they don't understand it. And that's something I relate with a lot. When I say anxiety, I mean like panic attacks. You know, he was struggling with that a lot when he wrote this song. This was like his only way to um, express it. He's kind of just talking about all these different ways that he tries to fix it and nothing really works. And he's like, am I just paranoid or am I just stoned? And it's just a very classic Green Day song that pretty much everyone knows. And if you don't, I feel very sorry for you. It's is Letter Bomb. This is from American Idiot. Another really fun um, punk rock song that I really really enjoy. Now this is one of the best Green Day songs in my opinion because of the music in it. Like it's so well done, you know, it's very well composed. The music itself is just very catchy alone. And then when you bring in Billy's vocals, I think that's one of his best performances uh, on a recording. I just, I love the way he's singing in it. Uh, and the chorus is so catchy, one of the most catchiest choruses by Green Day. I just think um, it just sticks with me a lot. And you really can't help but like nod your head when you listen to it. It's just a very fun song. This is another one, you know, it's on American Idiot, so it's still talking about, uh, you know, the world and how it's going to shit. <laughs> Um, but you know, he's saying, where have all the riots gone? So it's like, why aren't we fighting for this? When are we gonna have another revolution? And then he also says, where will we all go when it's too late? And too late means like the end of the world when it's already, you know, too late to fix. I don't really hear a lot about this song in terms of like being people's favorites, but it really is one of my like all time favorites. Honestly, it's so, so good. Um, so please check that one out if you haven't already. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Okay, we're getting down to the wire. Number three is Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Everyone knows this song. This is one of their most famous songs ever. This is actually the very first song I learned to play on the guitar. Um, it's a really simple one. If you guys want to learn it, go ahead and check it out. It's one of their slower songs, but it's done so well. Just one of those pretty beautiful songs that when they play live, you know, the whole crowd is just like singing and doing this and it's just very powerful. You can tell when you listen to these lyrics that it's mainly about being lonely and just like having nowhere to go. I think the main meaning though is like he can't relate to a lot of people so he just decides to walk alone. Um, and it's, just, it's kind of depressing honestly, but I still really really enjoy this song. I have such a love for it, such a strong love for this song. And I know a lot of other people do too. It's just very, very, very iconic. It definitely deserves its recognition, in my opinion. Number two is Longview. I've always been in love with this song. 
I think it's so catchy, you know, mainly for that awesome bass line that Mike Dirt wrote. It's just so good, dude. Like, it's such a great song all around. This song is actually off of Dookie, their third album. Um, it's just one of those iconic punk rock songs, but it's very kind of chill in a way. That bass line is just so hypnotizing. I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. It's mainly about being bored and like doing nothing and just like sitting there. There's nothing to watch on TV, you know, there's nothing to do. He's just too lazy to do anything anymore. But it's a very mellow, chill song. This song is just so catchy though. Like it's a big fan favorite, I think. It's one of their best. Obviously it's number two for me. I think it's just incredibly fun to listen to. It's mellow at times, but it also picks up a lot and still remains punk rock. I'm just trying to raise your love. Okay, number one is Jesus of Suburbia. Whoa, dude, how can this not be my number one? I think this is like one of their very best songs, if not their best, um, mainly because it's five songs in one, really. It's about 10 minutes long, um, and it's just, oh my god, every single like mini song within this song is just amazing. I think the music, the lyrics, the way he sings, everything about it all around is just so well done. I cannot express my love for this more than I am, but like, it's just, honestly, you guys have to listen to this song. This is the song that really made me get into Green Day. This song is also from American Idiot, I forgot to mention, but you know, that whole album is just filled with songs like this, but this is definitely my favorite of all time. And I think in a way, this song is sort of a rebirth of Green Day, because they were so different, and then this is the album that kind of changed their ways. And I'm sorry guys, I really don't even know what to say about this song, because it's just that good. And I'm not gonna try and sit here and interpret this whole song because it's just so long. Like, that could be a whole video, you know, breaking down this song because there's like five parts in it. If you haven't heard it, please go listen to it. I'm serious. Like, this is their best song. And it's always been my favorite, and I think it always will be. All right, guys, so those are my top 10 favorite Green Day songs. This video was highly requested for the past, like, months, and I finally got the chance to do it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this was incredibly hard to narrow down. There's so many other songs by Green Day that I absolutely love. I just didn't get a chance to fit them on this list because I only could pick 10. And I'm very excited for what they have in store for 2016 because actually Billy Joe tweeted that he wants to end pop punk in 2016 so that makes me so excited so I'm pretty sure that means he's gonna like destroy it by making something even better with this new record so yeah that's gonna be it for me today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment down below with your favorite Green Day song and I will see you guys next time bye